What's good, YouTube? This is Angel Desi Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. My real name is Chef Boy of Puerto Rico. You know why the apron's on already. And this is... Diana Bros. And we about to get into this unboxing of Hello Fresh. So this is pretty much a whole meal in a box. We're going to see what it's about because I ain't never got it before. I was just recommended it. So let's see. Is there a whole bunch of that? Or is it just one? Because if that's one, then no, eh? it's uh, how they come is either two meals or two persons. It's enough to feed two persons or four persons. So you can either order the two or the four. I got this is enough to feed two persons, um, and it's supposed to be for five days. So technically, so there's five meals in here. That's what I'm No, about. there's ten meals in here because it's two persons. Five meals enough to feed um, ten, ten persons. So what? Wait, what? No. Five meals enough to feed two people. Yes, five meals, but there's enough in them each meal to feed two persons. Yeah, you said that all backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so as he was saying, there's five meals in this, but it feeds two people. Okay? That's what it meant. <laughs> okay, let's let's get right into the unboxing. Yeah, okay, I messed up. God dang. Alright. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this right quick with my handy dandy knife. Okay. Yay! okay, so I guess this is where we get to find out what meals we have. Right. Oh, it's so cold! Ooh! You gonna read it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Herbie chicken over lemony spaghetti. Mmm! Upside down, we got cranberry Dijon pork tenderloin. Mm hmm. Oh, backwards. Backwards. We got firecracker meatballs with Ooh. roasted green beans and jasmine rice. Mm. Mm. Backwards. Mm -mm -mm. We got pork sausage and tomato risotto, risotto, okay. whatever it's called. And we got teriyaki pork Leon bowls <laughs> with kiwi. You gotta let me read the whole thing. <laughs> kiwi salsa and lime crema. <laughs> mm -hmm. These are pretty cool because it actually shows you everything that you need. Um, I, hope, I think it comes with all this stuff in the rest of the box. Yeah. But it comes with all this and then it shows you how to make it. So you got your ingredients, your bust down. They call it bust out, but I like to say bust down Tatiana. Bust down you know Tatiana. Yep. Start strong because you really got to start strong. It's a, it's a mindset thing. So you really got to start strong in everything you do. And then you prep it, you cook pasta, cook zucchini. It, it, it shows you step by step. And, you, you and it gives you detailed instructions yeah. on like what to do with it all. And it tells you like how long to cook your stuff for. Like for example, see, three to five minutes per side. It yeah, tells you all that. Get into all that. So if you don't, okay, so no offense, if you don't know how to cook, these will help you. That help you start knowing how to cook and start knowing how to cook certain meals like chicken. Cause no one knows how to cook chicken for some reason. You know what? That's not easy. And then those you Don't forget to go green. You really interested me for that. Alright, say whatever you say. But no, if you like, no offense to people that don't know how to cook, but if you don't know how to cook and you were never taught, things like this, it gives you like the detailed instructions of where you will eventually start to remember how to cook things. So it makes it easier for people that don't know how to cook. So, yeah. But I know how to cook. Ooh, so right under this little layer of packaging that they have, we got all the different meals. So teriyaki pork, all, all the different meals. Firecracker, meatball. Yeah. And it gives you... Oh, they got some water in here? I guess that's part of the ingredients. Pork sausage. So, this is everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. And then these are the ice packs that it has. They obviously ice melted. Ice packs. Pork brown. Brown pork. Gives you all the meats. Pork tenderloin. Sweet Italian pork sausage. Everything. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's like super slimy. Is that seltzer water? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I don't know what that's one. It's probably to put to Ground to cook beef. Stuff. And I'm guessing each of these uh, meats you have to use for the certain meal. Yeah. So. Hold that down for me, baby. 
So we did the unboxing, right? Looking good, looking good, looking fresh, looking hello fresh. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time to pull up because before we start cooking, before we got to start the saucing, we always gotta pull up. You know what I'm saying? Pull up, drain, headshot, drain, fade, drain, fade. And now I'm gonna get my handy dandy tool right here to pop open this Coca Cola. If it ain't glass, then you don't you know, know what there's, it is. You know there's an easier tool filler. I have an easier tool filler. There's nothing more easier than that, y'all. <laughs> you gotta pour the Remy first. Remy Martin. You it's pour. not open. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. He's all over the place today, guys. Okay, <laughs> so Remy Martin, you pour that thing, I'm gonna tell y'all when to stop. Now y'all tell me when to stop. Stop! Oh! You better be faded. That is kind of a lot. It's okay, pour up. It's okay. It's okay. Pour up. Guys. Like I said, you gotta go hard in all you do, right? It's a mindset. Go hard in the pen! It's a mindset thing. Nothing. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's definitely strong. So Put on twist. You can't put it back on. Come on. Come on. Alright, back to business. Which one do you guys want to cook today? You guys pick. Go ahead. We'll give you time. Give them a little second or two. This is what it looks like. These are all the ingredients you will need. You're gonna need a kiwi, a yellow, a yellow, a yellow onion, garlic, jasmine rice, pork, um, ground pork, long green pepper, tomato, roman, roman, tomato, lime, sour cream, which does include milk. And then you're gonna need teriyaki sauce, which also includes soy. So if you are lactose intolerant or you can't eat soy, this is not the meal for you. Get going. <laughs> okay, and also by the way, um, the prep time is 15 minutes, so total time is 35 minutes, and the total calories in the whole meal is 830. Alright, so let's see if this teriyaki roi bowl has everything that's wish needed. Okay, so the little bag comes with... What the? That's the green pepper! This green pepper looks weird. It's huge! What kind of green? Usually green pepper is like squarish. No, this green is a pepper. long green pepper. Oh, I never seen a long green pepper. Weird. I wonder where that's from. Weird. You got, got the jasmine rice. rice, and it comes with the specific what's that called? Cups. Measurement? Yeah, measurement. Specific measurement that's needed already, so you don't even got to measure it. Yet. But but me, you know, Chef Boy, Pretty Rico don't even need a measurement. Okay, and then there's the yellow onion, wellio, wellio, onion. This is the teriyaki sauce. It, com it comes in this onion. Teriyaki sauce. Sour cream. Sour cream. We got the nice handy dandy kiwi. This is a pretty big kiwi, honestly. We got a piece of garlic. This is literally. They gave us of one piece of garlic. Know, Where do they think we up. are? That's really messed up. We like garlic, okay? But I guess 
We get a piece of garlic. No, we're gonna we're add more garlic. Mix it up. Garlic. Now we gotta cook it exactly how that is because we gotta let them know if it's enough. You know. I don't. I don't know how to do that. I yes. don't follow instructions. We got because this is a review for all Babe, the audience. all the other meals that we I make. I don't follow instructions. And then we got the nice lime. Nice lime, lime, lime. And. The it's nice, an apple. The nice tomato. Tomato, tomato. This is actually a really good tomato. It's tomato. not even. I had to say tomato. Tomato. You say tomato? Oh, wait, tomato or tomato? So is this all the ingredients we need? Let's check it off. Kiwi, check. Yellow onion, check. Garlic, check. Gar um, rice, check. Pork? <gasps> Where's the pork? Pork tenderloin? No, ground, ground pork. pork. Great. All right. And then we got the long pepper, great tomato, lime, sour cream, soy sauce. Great. That's all the ingredients that we'll need. Now the things that we'll need to bust down top thing all. What's the buzz down looking like? A peel of zester, small pot, medium bowl, vegetable What's oil, a sugar, zester? butter, small bowl, large pan, kosher salt, black pepper. You would have to get all oh. that by yourself. Okay. Babe! This is a zester! You didn't know that? You didn't know that! I didn't know this was called a zester because it says zest. The line. So I was like, oh, schnizzle. Means like twist, twist. Is this a zester, guys? What is a zester? I don't know because they have the line like just cut off. So maybe it's a different word for cut. <laughs> what? Then I make no sense. Just look up. What's a zester? <laughs> What's a zester? I think this is a zester. Zester. So we basically zest that. Okay. I'm trying to save yourself. Yes, ma'am. You tell me. Okay. Now, we're going to wash and dry all produce. Wash, wash. Wash, wash. We have all of our Bastan Tatiana products. Mm -hmm. um, necessities. There is a Zussi underneath our table. Zussi, come here. Yes. Yeah, this is the Zeusy right here. That's the Zeusy you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, see what's up. Oh, oh, and there's the Chino. Oh, that's the Chino. You see him? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're gonna wash my hands again. Okay. Always wash your hands or use gloves. We don't want no Corona going around here from these lemons and limes and all this extra stuff. <laughs> know what I'm saying? She's gonna go wash her hands. I'm about to wash mine when she's done. And then she'll get started. And then I'll get started with her when I'm done washing my hands. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. This tank gets. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> okay guys, so the the next step that we have to do, we're still on prep one. Um basically what we're doing is we're prepping all of the vegetables and fruit. Or fruits. If you consider tomato a fruit. Tomato tomato. So basically all we're gonna have to do is we have to dice up the tomato, dice up the, the um, kiwi, thinly slice the onion, okay? and then you have to thinly slice the pepper as well. And then you mince the garlic. Zest and quarter the lime. The next step is to cook the rice, but they only gave us a half a cup of rice. How is that gonna feed two people? Yeah, and then it says, like I was reading it, I was like, maybe, maybe they have it wrong. Like maybe they just didn't give it to us right. And I was reading the instructions and basically it says that four people could eat one cup of rice. Yeah, I don't know what they're messing up. I don't know what they're thinking. So luckily I already have jasmine rice because that's the rice that I cook. So we're just gonna just add more. Yeah. yeah. And plus we got two big old pit bulls. That they eat rice they too. Eat rice so. too so. And if we eat it good, they eat good. Jasmine and rice, you already know what it is. So we have our handy dandy. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> we have our handy dandy 
Ninja. It is an air fryer, also a pressure cooker at the same time. You know? If you like to cook, it would be nice for you to have because you can do a lot of stuff with it, and plus it's two products in one. It is, wow. Yeah, that was not gonna feed us. Uh -uh. <laughs> it was not. So, we're gonna pull out another half a cup to make one cup, and then we pull out one full cup that equals two. Open it up. Plop it. All right, so now you have to add your water. Every cup of rice, you add um, one cup of water and one, like, one-fourth water. So just a little bit of water after. So we have two cups in there, so that's two cups of water and about that much. And so, cool. as you can see, that's a full solo cup. Mm -hmm. What do you make, think about that, Zeus? Oh, nice. He likes it. He likes it. Chino, you like it too? Chino, what you think? I think he likes it too. Yeah. And then you just get it and you just pour it in. And now what we're going to do is add the butter and the salt and then we're going to cook it. Zeus over here, he's only seven months and he loves to try to drink my liquor. I don't know what is it she does. He has a, he has a problem. He's going to be an alcoholic when he grows up. Yeah. I could tell already. Oh, we don't want to get started with you. Yeah, he's just a crazy guy. He he tries to act so cute when oh, he wants his food. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. He's all doing it. He's doing it. All right. Well, Where were we? Now, with this ninja, every cup of ri white rice, you put it in for two minutes. So we have two cups in here, so we're going to put it in for four minutes. Do you see how quick that is? Yeah. It's so quick. That is pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. So quick. I didn't like, know that was geez. that fast. Yeah. Um, which is next is now we're gonna add all of this stuff into our medium sized bowl. All right, so y'all seen what it said and we're basically just gonna add these three ingredients into the bowl. So we're gonna just smooth it right in there, nice and gently. So we make our salsa. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah. Chef Boy Puerto Rico confirms that this is perfect. Oh! You thought. Come on, Angel. A little trickster. Okay, we're gonna get all of it in there. So, now we're just gonna mix it all together, add a little, little salt and pepper, and that, that's how it's gonna be. So, I'm gonna show you real quick. Got my salt right here. I'm gonna just put a little bit onto my hand. Got my salt, yup, that's how it is. Just gonna add a little bit, a little pinch, a little pinch there, a little pinch here. That should be Put the good. rest of it in there. And then you're just gonna add your pepper, and this is how you season that thing. Add a little pepper in there. Like I said, you can't go wrong with pepper, so just pour enough of pepper, you know? Just squeeze the lime in the mix. And you're just gonna wanna mix it all together. Yep, just like that. Now we need to put our sour cream in a different bowl. Squeeze out all the sour cream. And then just half of this zest. So I'm just separate it. It looks like half. Okay. Yep, that's about half. And then we want a pinch of garlic. So this is just a pinch right here. That's a pinch of garlic. Some salt in there. Put pepper. Or put some pepper in there. And then this is the salt. Just a pinch. Just a pinch. Just a pinch. So it says add one teaspoon of water. So what we're gonna do, just get some water, one teaspoon. A little bit, just like that. Gonna bring it over. You gotta have a steady hand for this. Just drip it right in there. And then we're gonna get this spoon right here. We're just gonna stir it until it reaches a drizzle consistency. So let's see about that drizzle. Oh wow. It actually looks like Does that look like y'all? Yeah, it looks like um that one ranch that comes in that dip. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So now that we got our salsa going, we got everything chopped up and locked up, you know, whatever you want to call it. We got our rice boiling in there or pressure cooking, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it is what it is. We gonna get right into the next step, which is cook these veggies. Use olive oil. Just because I prefer cooking with olive oil because it's healthier. Also, I just think it makes our food taste better. 
Also, I'm Cuban, so I kind of just grew up on that shit. So. And then, um. Chef Boro Peter Rico confirms. It confirms what? Approves. It approves oh. that you use olive oil. Oh, you approve that I use olive oil? Yeah. And I'm, so. I'm like the chef, so. Oh, so then what am I? You're like the chef E. Mm. Or the chef A. Mm. What's your name? My name? Chef Diana. Okay. okay. That's all. I don't think they knew your name, so. Chef Cuban Diana. There we go. Chef Cubana. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's my new name, guys. Chef Cubana. <laughs> Cubana. So, now this is on medium heat. I also don't cook my pots on high heat unless it's like water. And even with that, I kind of do it like medium high just because it burns your pots and your food cooks way too fast and that's just not how you cook, so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the onion and the pepper. And then basically break up the onion, stir it around a little bit, get them cut, coated in the oil. All right, so I put the rest of the garlic in there because that's what it says. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put salt all over it and put some pepper in it. You better put some pepper in the step. And put some pepper in that step. I ain't trying no mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna bring this. Oh, and then you're just gonna bring this to a simmer. And so you're just gonna sit there. You can put a lid on top of it, which I'm probably gonna do, just so it can simmer by itself. Actually, I'm not gonna use the lid. I'm gonna use my new handy dandy thing that I got that my mom had introduced me to right here. My little friend. And basically hey you, put this, you put this over like a pot that has like oil, like if you were cooking burgers or like this. And it basically like reduces the the splat the fl splasher, like the splatter from the oil and stuff. Splash. From the grease and oil and all that stuff. So yeah, so we're just gonna use our handy dandy new little thing. And a bit off. All right, so this is done. I let it simmer for a little bit. The onions are nice and crispy. The the peppers could do some work, but it's okay because they have to go back into the pot anyways. So it's fine. What we're gonna do now is transfer all this over into a clean plate. Put this back on here. Drizzle some more oil on it. I'm gonna lower just a little bit. Cancel. Mm -hmm. Drizzle some more oil in it. That's about good. And now we're gonna get our handy dandy ground pork. We're gonna go ahead and transfer that over to this pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Cut it. Cut it open. My handy dandy knife. Stay strapped in my pocket. There you go. Careful. Go ahead and cut that thing open real quick. Ah, oh, you just cut yourself. <gasps> Stitch up real quick, clean up. I must fall. When you, if you cut yourself, you gotta stitch up, clean up. It happens while you're cooking, you know. It only happens to the best of us. All right, guys, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, right. guys, we're back. Cleaned up, got the pork <laughs> open. Go ahead and get it out. And put it on the pan. Like and you're just gonna break it up. Yeah. And we're gonna wanna cook this until it's brown. And then we're gonna add our veggies back in. And it can all combine together and just taste magnificent. A little fresh, you might be on to something. We'll see. I don't know. I would do a lot more seasoning just some salt and pepper. Yeah, that's the thing. They they can't make it too complex that a person who doesn't know how to cook, that isn't a chef born in Puerto Rico or chef Cubana, um, wouldn't be able to actually make it, you know? They have to make it somewhat, just not as complex. It's just that simple. Well, I hope it's good. And I mean, if anything, we can just add like garlic salt on top of it afterwards if it's not like the best. Yeah, we're gonna give you, we're just cooking it how it is just so that you guys can get the full review. But if you know how to cook, you can always add and make it to your own liking. Exactly. So like, for example, if we were cooking this off camera and we weren't doing this for the actual YouTube video, I would definitely have added more seasonings to the meat, to the peppers, 
um, It'll just change be a different. Story, yeah, right? I'll just change little things and stuff. I mean, I'll still keep it the way it was, but just add some more stuff, some TLC, you yeah. know? And probably get more more extra product like the salsa, the rice. Yeah. It it says two person or two people. But dude, are you feeding two toddlers? Cause dude. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> the main thing that they're they're thinking of. They're talking about two little people. No, no offense to everyone who eats small portions, but that's just not us. No. It's just that simple. So now once it's met that brown consistency, you want to add your green peppers, onions, back in the mixture. Just like so. Add that all in there. Stir it all together. Don't forget about your salt and pepper. You wanna add that in. We're gonna switch off because I'm gonna get the boys food ready. The two pit bulls that you've seen, we'll get their food ready. Cause like I said, like we said, what we say earlier, if we eating, they eating. Right. Gotta get their food ready. What they're gonna have today is a gourmet meal. Go ahead, put it back up on me. What they're gonna have today is a gourmet meal of some beef and carrots and rice. And of course, there's kibbles and bits. But leave the oats for the morning. Yeah. We'll just have carrots, rice, and beef. Yep. And then their gravies. And they also have these gravies that, um, they just help with like digestion, make sure that their coat and their skin is like all shiny and their hip and their like hip and joints and stuff are still good. Yep. It's all good stuff for them. They're big boys, they need to eat. They're big dogs and they're active, so you gotta make sure that they're healthy. Yep. Save so, if you will, just add the salt and pepper right quick. Add some salt, and throw some pepper we need. You can never go wrong with pepper. And now the next step we're gonna do as we're taking this, and then we're gonna need one tea, um, one teaspoon of sugar. This, by the way, is the teriyaki sauce that this whole meal is basically based off of. And so you just pour that in there. Get one teaspoon of sugar. One tablespoon of butter. Now we're gonna mix it. It actually looks pretty good. It does, it smells good. I've never had pork teriyaki. I know teriyaki chicken wings are real good. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, remember how you seen like the peppers weren't, they were like more hard and stuff. They got more softer just from us putting it back in there when the meat was in there. Cause it's still, it's still cooking guys. It's not like it's not cooking, it's still cooking. Now we're just gonna let it sit there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the boys' food started. This is not a part of the HelloFresh meal. This is just a little extra content that you guys can go off of if you have pit bulls or if you have dogs yourselves. Um, <laughs> I just so get tired. this ground beef from oh. Walmart. It's organic grass-fed ground beef, so the best you can get is from Walmart, save money, look better. We're just gonna cut it up real quick. When I say cut it up. How big is it? How many pounds is that? Um. This is just 16 ounces. So it's one pound. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, is cut it up, cut it open, whatever you wanna say. It's just what it is, it is what it is, you know? We put the temperature, we're just gonna put it on about a six. Get it going. And now we just wanna add our olive oil, just a little bit, cause you know our meat's gonna have all that grease that it's gonna get going. Just add our meat. Oh. Just like so. And we're gonna do the same thing we did to the meat that we're eating. We're gonna chop it up, mix it up all together, and get it going, you know? But with our meat, or with their meat, or beef, because you know, you guys are gonna say some crazy stuff about me saying meat. But with their beef, I'm just gonna not add no seasoning, you know? They're eating it how it is, because. They don't need any yeah, seasoning. They don't need that. It's not. It's not good for them. You know, they get well, all I mean, it's not going to hurt them, but it's just, they don't need it. Okay. They get all their seasoning from their probiotics or their skin and coat broth that we got from them. And I will show you in a few. But that's where they get their seasoning from or their taste. But they like this no matter what. It's good. You know, people, people usually feed raw meat. They usually feed it how it is. But... I like to cook it for them because I don't like eating raw meat. 
why would I give my boys raw meat or my dogs raw meat? I don't think, I just personally don't think that you should give pit bulls full bred, um, original, like full bred, original pit bulls, like blood, just due to the fact that they are based off of fighting dogs. So I just don't think that it's healthy for a fighting dog that's like grew up, like that's his history, to eat blood because once a pit bull tastes actual blood, they can't stop and they're gonna want it. So I just don't think it's right. Also, I just, all the bacteria and crap, like how are you gonna clean the meat? How are you gonna make sure that you're giving your dog not bacteria and meat? So I like to cook it. Other people do it other ways, but that's just not how we do it. Yeah, I don't necessarily believe in that because it's just, it's just how they're raised, you know? They taste blood. I, I met many dogs who is, is actually raw meat fed and they're nice dogs. It's just really how you made raise them, pit bull or not. You know, there's a lot of um, stereotypes of pit bulls, like the meanest dog in the world or whatever. Look at these but things. They're really not. Um, but we, like I said in other videos, if you, if you don't watch my videos, if you're new to my videos, they have the trophy or the award for most trained dog in the dog park. You understand? And I'm talking about 30 to 50 dogs come in this dog park and they have, they are the most trained dogs. And they even went to the beach. They are the most trained dogs at the beach. I'm not lying, no cap. This is true no. facts, 100%. These guys right here, go show them again. They don't play. They don't play. By the way, they fell. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this, but, but they don't play no games. They listen, right? Zeus, Chino, up. Come here, boys. See? They listen. They're ready to go. Sit. Sit, Chino. Shake on that. Yeah. Good. Good. Shake on it, Chino. Good boy. See? They listen. They're good boys. Good job, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. But we'll catch you up. This is almost done. I'll show you when I have the plate served. Um, we'll also show you what the dog bowls look like once that is done and all. We have to cut up carrot for them and that's really it after that. Besides the rice, but we'll get we'll get back to it guys. Bye. Alright guys, so this is our rice. Oh that looks perfect. Good. Yeah. That good. looks perfect. It looks really good. Oh man, that rice is about to taste so good. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know this man loves my rice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're just gonna do one plate for you guys so I can Yeah, we'll just show you one plate real quick and then do the meat. And then uh, when we actually get to sitting. And this is how their dog food's gonna look. You see, we want that brown consistency just like ours. That brown consistency. So, and our food. Run away on um He's gonna put our food pepper. on top. Good. That looks good. Give me a yeah. pepper. I actually was enough for two people. It was. We didn't add no extra meat, and that's enough for the topping. Mm -hmm. The meat, I ain't gonna lie, the meat was a good amount. Yeah. But the other stuff, mmm. Gonna add all that. Mm hmm. Like so. mm -hmm. It's about good. Pull out the cream sauce. And just flick your wrist. Mm -hmm. That looks about good. And then the lime on the side. So these are the dog bowls, the doggy kibble. Alright, you seen our food? Now we're gonna get their food going. So you seen how we started our meat already? Got our ground beef going, it's already ready to go. All I gotta do is serve, we got our rice here, we got some carrots right here, and then we got our, our kibbles. Yep, ready to go. That's the good one too, yep, good brand. Mm -hmm. And all I gotta do is slice this up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead. Super easy, we do about. I'm gonna say four each. What? 
You want to give them four each? I'll say six. I'm going to say six each. I'm going to say six each. <laughs> what? That's good. Give them seven. Seven's a good number. It's God's number. Yeah, we're not it right now, so. <laughs> yeah, that's another story. Story time. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say seven each. That's six. Oh, shit. I'm gonna say seven each. I'm gonna cut it up real quick. Oh just my like goodness. So. Just like so. Oh my gosh. Oh, I lost one. Gina, don't try again. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he took it. <laughs> Chino ate the carrot. Here, since Chino ate a carrot, here's Zissy. See, they like carrots. All right, we got our even portions. You gonna do the dog food? Yep. All right. For what do we have? Source? Is that our dog food brand? Source? We got the good dog food. Brand. I don't know what it's called. All right. So what we do is we just give them one scoop. Yep. One scoop, about this much. That'll be good. One scoop, this much, about the same. About the same. Be good. Mm -hmm. The reason why we give them so little is because they honestly don't even be eating that much. Yeah, they they we um measured it out and tested it out. They only eat one scoop. So anything we feed them more, it just sits there all day. Yeah. And we don't want to waste any dog food. So we want it to be even now and good to go. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just gonna add the meat. It's hot. Nice and good. Scoop. Scoop, scoop, and we cut this out. A nice even cut. That one little ran away a little bit, so want a nice even cut. It's good to go. Look at that. They eat gourmet. If we eat gourmet, they eat gourmet. It's hot. Yeah, it is hot. So we'll let it sit for a little bit. And then we just drop the carrots in there, add some rice. Drop carrots. Carrots have been dropped, nice even amount. There you go. Yep. Just like that. Chef Oral Puerto Rico approves this message. Yep. Just like that. And then add some rice. Just, just a scoop of rice. Thanks, babe. Scoop of rice. That's good. Another scoop of rice. Two scoop scoops. of rice. All right. And now we bring out their vitamins, their so, gravies. They're on the door. So this is their gravies. So like I said, we gotta make sure our dogs are healthy. We got this one. This is the little broth for skin and coat. They're all different flavors, but when you combine, just like combining your food, it, it tastes really good. Digestion, they smell really good. You get all these from PetSmart. They're just so awesome. Hip and joint. Focus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Super food. Super food sauce. There we go. Just like that. All and right. we just put one, 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 one squirt. squirt. Yep, one squirt of each. Boom. One. Boom. Two. Boom. Three. All right. Same thing with this one. One. Boom. Two. Boom. Three. Hmm. Just like that. And then you just stir it. Stir it, yeah. You guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for your food? <laughs> are you ready for your food? <laughs> yeah, they're ready. They are ready. And then so, you just stir it. I usually just stir it with a Sharpie because I don't have no plastic spoons right now. You but could just I use had, a knife, a butter knife. Yeah, if I had a plastic spoon, I'll do with that. I just don't like mixing up. Don't worry guys, it's clean, okay? It's clean. Yeah. He cleaned use, it this morning. Yeah, I literally use this for all the dog stuff because I don't like to mix our utensils with the dog utensils. Even though that's so stupid because it gets clean. Yeah, but still. Doesn't make any sense. Still, this has a different smell. I don't know. No scent even after wash. Well, if you wash it correctly, you won't have a scent. <laughs> Okay, things mixed. Yeah, nice and good right there. Same thing. This one. That boy is crying for his food. 
Yeah, if you can't hear him in the back, he wants his food. He's hungry. You hungry too? You guys are hungry? Are you hungry? It's okay, it's coming. All right, y'all, so this is how you feed your gourmet meals to your pit bulls, or your dogs in general. All right, Zeus, come here. Come here, boy, sit. Sit, boy. Chino, he didn't even here. let him sit. I know, I kind of did it premature, but it's all right. Sit, Chino. Good boy. Good boy, Chino. <laughs> Eat, Eat, Eat your boy. food, Chino. Good job. They love it, look at this. And now they're just eating them. They love it. Go ahead, Chino, eat your food. Yeah, you love your food. All right, guys, so I'll give you one more look at what the plate looks like before we go into it and start going ham on it. It looks really appetizing, honestly, like if we're, if we're talking real talk. It looks really good. I'm excited to see how it tastes. Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's get right these guys cleaned their plates. Like, they didn't even give us time to sit down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were done eating before my plate was freaking done. Yeah. So, right. let's try it. So, the only thing we added extra was the rice because it obviously wasn't enough. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. You can definitely taste that the meat should have been seasoned more, but mm -hmm. it's not bad. No. I actually like that teriyaki. That teriyaki. I kind of like it too, and I'm not a big fan of teriyaki. Oh, I love teriyaki cheese. But... Mm -hmm. this, this reminds me of like peppered steak, but like pork. Yeah. I can definitely taste some lime juice. <clears throat> it actually tastes really good. I go on. Pretty good, pretty good. So, what do you break this meal out of uh, one out of ten or zero out of ten? Mm. Just for the whole yeah, process, I... the whole process of delivery, waiting, um, the price. So the price of this whole thing was sixty-two dollars, but um, usually. The 10 meals will cost around $100. I had a coupon on from TikTok, mm. so that's why mine was cheaper. Mm. But this meal, uh, all the meals, the box that I got, will usually cost you around $100. So, um, five meals to feed. You know. mm -hmm. I think um, it's nice to save you from going to the store, especially during this pandemic. I hate going to the store. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Okay. Pause, guys. Pause. We need Hold to on. take him to the bathroom. See? <laughs> He's just. These guys are just amazing. Come on. Come on, boy. Go to the bathroom. All right. They both went to the bathroom, took a piss and a poop. Now we're gonna get right into back into it. So, what do you rate this meal? Zero out of ten, or this whole process? Zero out of ten. The meal. Zero out. If I have my TLC to it, I'll give it a 10. Um, the process, I give it about an 8. It's very simple and easy. It gives you all the instructions. So all I did was literally read. Read and follow the, and follow the directions. Other than that, you can't really fuck up. Yeah, so I'm on the same page, 8 out of 10 uh, for both. Uh, just overall process, shipping, um, price, and just the food in general. It's actually really good, pretty good. Uh, I would say if I paid regular price, $100 for all of this, I wouldn't do it. So uh, I'm probably not gonna start my subscription back up because that's what it is. You subscribe to it and you pay weekly on the meals that you purchase. So, uh, I'm not gonna start it back up just because I don't have that deal anymore of $62 for, what is it, 10 meals? 
for two people. Five meals. Yeah. Well, five meals to feed two people, so that's really ten, ten meals. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really not because of the rice or the portions that they give you. It's really yeah. not enough. So you do gotta add a little extra flavor or your own taste to it, okay. uh, whether it's extra ingredients or okay, whatever it is. So, but it is what it is. It's good. Hello, fresh. You did your thing. I mean, you keep doing what you're doing because I mean, it's not bad. It's not because look, tell them about like going to the stores and stuff right now. I mean, it's hectic. Yeah. It's hectic. You can't find anything. <laughs> Zeus. What do you want? He wants our food. You can't have our food. You had your own. But no, the stores, they're hectic. They're, most of their stuff isn't even there. Because a lot of the shipments aren't, coming, aren't going through due to the fact of the, uh, the pandemic going on and all this. So I mean, it would help. If you're, if you're the type of person that doesn't want to go out through this pandemic like at all, do it because it gives you all the stuff and it doesn't taste bad. It don't taste bad. I mean, it's up to you if you want to spend the money on it. Probably. That's all up to you. I mean, again, I give my rating about an eight out of this meal. About an eight. And if you know, if you were to throw your own TLC in it, then you would probably spice it up <laughs> to a higher level. <laughs> Being, I think he's being fat. <laughs> Zeus, what the heck? <laughs> what, boy? You can't have none of this. This is poor. We went crazy. to the bathroom. What, what else do you need? <laughs> so, he obviously smells it. And he he likes it. it. <laughs> he can taste it through his nose. <laughs> Anyways, hope y'all liked the video. Let us know if... You want more content like this? It's Chef Laura of Puerto Rico and Chef. I thought you were gonna say it for me. You messed it all up. And Chef Cubana. So stay tuned for more.